Hello, my name is Margaret Nickel and I'm a licensed esthetician. I've been practicing skin care for 21 years and I wanted to make this video. I haven't made a video in a couple weeks because I've been giving myself chem peels and I'm so excited about how my skin looks and I wanted to show all of you. This will probably be a short video. Uh, and uh, I've been also using castor oil on my skin at night and then I've also been taking castor oil pills. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to really start focusing on my neck and doing quite a few layers on my neck and see if I can't really make a difference with these these medium lines. I'm 65. I haven't had a, a facelift. I have had my eyes done and I've had lip filler in the past. I have a little Botox. I've had uh, lasers. Just from being in the business and working at places and uh, having friends that work at medical spas, it's been great. It's been affordable for me to take care of my skin. And I want to look nice when I'm doing facials and taking care of clients. I think that's important. And uh, another thing that I want to talk about is that I bought myself a red light on Amazon. Here we go. And I think it was around $49. I wanted to buy one that was inexpensive because I wasn't sure if um, I was going to use it. And it, I've had it for about two weeks. And of course, I haven't, uh, I think I've used it twice. So that's why I didn't want to go and spend like $1,200 on a red light panel. But I'll, I'll see if I can't force myself to use it and get excited about it. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I have a pet peeve when it comes to organic skincare. And I feel that it's very misleading. The, the, the public are misinformed. A product, a skincare product can have, say, organic on the label if they, they, all they need is one ingredient and then they can say that the skincare is organic. So that's very troubling and, and, and many people think that if you, if the product is organic, that it doesn't have preservatives. Yes, it has preservatives. There are natural preservatives, vitamin E, uh, but they're not as efficacious as parabens and some of the other uh, preservatives that have taken over from the parabens. Uh, you don't want to get a staph infection on your face. You don't want to get fungal acne. Please be safe. They're, they have preservatives. The products have preservatives for a reason, and that's to keep the consumer safe. And another thing, too, that I wanted to, to ask, in the last couple of videos I did, my, um, my laptop stopped on me. Uh, what you'll see on the boxes of products, not the jars, but you'll see an open jar on the back of the box. And it'll have a little number, and it will say six, 3, 6, 12, 24. And that's how many months the product is good from opening. I'm getting all the sun here. Uh, so that's, that is something that you need to be aware of. And before you throw that box away, look for that open jar so you know. And if you're bad about using your products, which I hope you aren't, you could take a little Sharpie and write the date that you open the jar. So that's about it for me today. I want to make this short. And I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for tuning in to my videos. I'm going to have many more videos. I'm just starting. I don't have any kids, so I don't have anyone to help me with graphics and thumbnails. And so I'm just all doing this myself. So be patient and I'll be getting more information out to you, longer videos when I find out how I can do longer videos. So have a great day, and if you like my channel, I know it's a little early, but if you could subscribe, have faith in me, subscribe and like, and I won't let you down. So have a great day. Bye.